Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Friday, so I am going plant shopping. The first stop that I made was to my local Home Depot. I heard that somebody found a basket of variegated string of hearts, so I just want to see if my luck is good today. So I am at their succulent section here and I see a couple of hanging baskets and they look like they are strings of dolphins which are pretty cool. Over here are the succulents. They are selling these guys for $6. Up here are some string of bananas. Look how healthy they are. I love strings of bananas. I had one but I gave that away a couple of years ago. And over here are some more succulents and hanging baskets. And this here looks like a variegated pepper, Peperomia scanton, and they are going for $13. Not bad at all. The basket looks pretty full. And next to that, you guys, look what I found. This is a hanging basket of string of pearl. It is not variegated, but uh, looks really good. The pearl looks very plump, which is pretty cool. And here they have some arrangements of different types of plants in a planter. This is a Triscantarian and Nuke. And over here are the floor plants. Looks like they have quite a few alocasias as well as palms. Before we get any further into the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more plant shopping videos and plant content. Look at this full pot of Monstera Deliciosa. It's already finished traded and Home Depot is selling this for $30. Not bad. Love that they are already putting out area roots. It makes it a lot easier to propagate these guys. Okay, over here are some snake plants, cylindrica, as well as some dumb king. We got some peace lilies here and look you guys my home depot actually have pink princesses and they were only fifteen dollars now these pink princesses um looks like their variegation is low compared to uh the other ones that i've seen at walmart and lowe's even though these have low variegation it's still cool to see them here at my local home depot I live in the Midwest and for some reason, a lot of Home Depots in this area do not receive any uncommon plants. So yeah, um, do you guys have a philodendron pink princess? I remember trying to find one of these guys during the pandemic and they were so hard to find and most of them were very expensive. So moving on, I found this basket of syndapsis exotica and a few basket of hoyas they also have a neon pothos here for 17 dollars looks really nice this is probably the coolest find today at my local home depot it is a basket of string of turtles these guys are uh, in the peperomia family they are very easy to grow and they like to crawl uh, everywhere I like to put them in my terrarium um, and yeah just very cool plant the foliage is uh, incredible it looks actually look like a you know um, turtle back next to the string of turtles here's another basket of string of pearls very plump and here's another basket of string of turtles a few moments later Okay guys, I am at one of the lows in my area. Let's check out what they have. Here are the Twin and Tropicals. These plants look amazing. They have Syndapsis, Trubiae Moonlight, ZZ Raven, and also some Ponytail Palms and Corn Plants here. Now, these guys are perfect for uh, being a floor plant. And look at these money trees. They are braided, however, they are quite tall and mature, which is pretty good. These guys can get very, very large. They're selling these for $36. Not bad at all. Okay, let's move on to the next area. 
I always like to check the clearance section to see if they have any cool plants marked down. Looks like they have a few orchids as well as succulent marked down. These phalaenophysis look very healthy and to, uh, the blooms have expired but you know uh, with a little bit of TLC these guys will probably rebloom in four to six months. As for the hanging baskets, they have green maranta, golden pothos, rabbit foot fern, some of the common stuff that we usually see at the uh, at this Lowe's. Hey, look, they also have some of these um, peperoma scandins very got it here. Hey, I found something cool, you guys. This is the lemon meringue pothos that was released by Casa Farms a few months ago. Looks like they finally made it here to this low. Um, just look at this. Isn't this great? I think I'm gonna get one of these pot. The last time I saw them was at my Walmart Supercenter and that has been several months ago. And since then, they never came back to that Walmart. It looks like they have quite a few pots of these lemon meringue pothos here at this Lowe's. This is a great find. Over the last couple of months, the Lowe's in my area have not received any new releases or uncommon plants, so this is great. Okay, so moving on, we have some aquanemas over here. The red cyan is still my favorite aquanema. This dumb cane looks amazing. I thought this was the uh, reflector, but it's not. Down here are some hurricane ferns and global green pothos. Let's compare the global green pothos with the lemon meringue pothos, you guys. Let's see them side by side so that you can see the difference between the two of them. The lemon meringue is a variety of the enjoy pothos, I believe. And yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put the global green pothos back and keep the lemon meringue for myself to take care of and see how they grow in my condition. Looks like they have so many baskets this time. Lots of ferns and there's are some marantas also hanging around here. These uh, hanging baskets, the big ones are $20 and the smaller one is around $15. They also have the ceramic pots, hanging, hanging ceramic pot for $20. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plants. I'll see you in a future video. Bye.